Today we're going to be going over all the Air Jordan sneakers set to drop this month in March and I ain't gonna lie they definitely got a few bangers in the mix. Now let's go ahead and get started with the first shoe. We have the Air Jordan 1 Golf Mule UNC <laughs> colorway. It's a mule for sure. <laughs> These are trash. 110 bucks though. <laughs> they gonna pay you to wear them? <laughs> Come on. Okay, they so really did this again. So they're doing like I wouldn't, some, the other one was an OG colorway, right? Yeah. This is like a retro OG color blocking different switch up with the materials. This looks like the retro that came out a couple years ago. Like the color, the materials, and how the outsole is like that more bright blue. But it's just like a golf version for the slide and everything like that. So I think people are going to be impressed by the materials. But then like, why do I want this type thing? I think that's going to be the scenario. <laughs> I don't think this... They should not do this. For me, I would say hard pass. Don't make these. I couldn't find nobody on the golf course wearing anything like this. It's when they come off the golf course. No. They, no. Either way, it's a pass for both of us. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I don't plan on spending my money on those anytime soon. If I did get them, It'd be for a video, and then I'd probably return them or something. You, I don't know. Yeah, you could return them. Oh yeah, they, <laughs> they wouldn't even let you no return returns. them. No returns. <laughs> right, I can see that. You're gonna side of the box. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next up right here we have the Air Jordan 20. Oh no, 38 uh, low sunshine. So let's see. This is at 38s, but they did a low top version. Is the Tatum's was like that? What, what on what part? What do you mean? The, the shoe. Who else is? No, this is a Jordan 38. It's Why just it look a low like top. a Jason Tatum? It's a low top version. Mm -mm. It's the same shoe, it's just a low cut. Yeah, I'll pass on that. The color sucks. That's because it's orange. It sucks. And yellowish. It sucks. If it was dominantly like <laughs> green and yellow, we might have something. You Oregon, might have something. I envision the orange spots being a green and it'd be like an Oregon Duck PE. Would that be clean? No. That would be clean. That'd be a good hoop shoe. I don't know, I'm struggling with these 38s, man. The colors just has to be like the perfect color for me. There was like an all red one, or I think or all orange high top. That was like yeah. the women's basketball one. Mm -hmm. Those ones was clean. Okay, next up right here. This is all like the first of the month type stuff. Like they're just coming in hot, yeah. but it's like firing left and right. Not they're all on over target. the place. Like, yeah, they have no target. <laughs> <laughs> man down. <laughs> okay, so the Spiz Ikes low tops uh -huh. bread colorway so bread is black and red uh i think they did this in a high top but i don't remember because like I'm, I'm not the spizite <laughs> connoisseur but what i can say is these are cool that's what i said i like this i like this this I is a cop i think this is cool and it also reminds me so oh i don't know if i can there's a couple samples out there that looks similar to these. That's the Jordan Retros and the uh -huh. threes and the fours, but the world might just not have seen them yet. So it kind of reminds me of those, right. but now it's just brought onto this shoe. So uh, I don't they know. Cause they mixed some few different shoes to make this shoe. Yeah. Very interesting. Uh, I think one of those shoes that you, you walk into Foot Locker and so-and-so's dad picks it up and they grab it and add it to their rotation. Yeah. Like, I think that's what it's like. Those yeah, I don't shoes. think it's gonna go off the shelves like that. No, never. But I think that it's worth a cop. I think nobody would hate on you that you picked it up. What's the retail? One sixty. Nah, that ain't too bad. And then everybody in the conversation say, piece. "Why should it matter if someone hates on you if you pick it up?" <laughs> nah, they, I, we say that all the time. Buy what you like. Right. But it's time to, those golf shoes don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> The orange shoes, you can do that. I'm gonna hate on you on the other one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, still coming in hot. Now this one, this one I'm excited about, but it's got like a little asterisk next to uh -oh. it. So you got the Air Jordan 1 low 85 cut metallic blue. We talked about this before. Right, right. I think for like the spring, summer type thing or whatever yep. it was. Uh, $170 is the retail. See, that's where they get me right there. They could have been at 150. So, <sighs> The thing Even is, 140. the thing is for me, I think my size, it sells out. You know, it's like right. one of those scenarios like, damn, I gotta go grab it when it comes out. But like, I might be able to get it in like in a secondary market for cheaper. Like let, yeah. you know, get it from somebody else who got it on sale and now they're selling it and you can get it for under retail. 
This is like one of those shoes that just flies on the radar. I think the white neutral gray or whatever smoke gray, whatever the colorway right. they call those ones, those ones aren't as nice as these ones. Right. I think people like this one a little bit more, but at the same time, niche audience. For sure. So it's like definitely going to be adding these to my collection. But I wouldn't. I'm going to be patient at the same time. I, I wouldn't cop them like that, but I like them. It's a clean shoe. You know shoe. me in a 14, a 14, man, maybe looking so big in it all But, okay, white. so this is also an and original. a low top, too. This is an original colorway that we saw in 85. Right. So, now we're getting the first ever retro iteration of the OG 85 cut. This is the first time for that. Yeah. So, I think there's going to be those type of heads. But I didn't even own them in 85, you and I owned a whole bunch of yeah. shoes. <laughs> so, again, niche audience. Yeah. Niche for sure. Audience. It's a good looking shoe. It's, it's clean, simple. So this is a easy colorway for me, a hundred percent cop, but I'm being patient and I'm probably going to get them for under retail and I'm going to try to do my 170. thing. 70. That's what I'm saying. I just don't want to spend 170 on them. 150? Hunters and fifties. We can do that. <laughs> All right. What we got right here, the Air Jordan 2. This is the, the oh my bad, the Tatum 2s. So we've been talking about the Tatum 1s, the Tatum 1s. Right, 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 right. The Tatum 2s is coming on the scene now. Okay. And they starting off they hot with the Mama they Boy. Did. They called the Mama Boy, Mama's Boy. <sighs> Right? Uh, what do you think about these? I like it. Look at the model. I like it. Look at the colorway. Look at the materials. Look at the aesthetic of the shoe. What do you think? Better than the ones? I think better than the ones. Okay. I think the, the whole build of the shoe is okay. better than the ones. And of course that flower print and all that stuff. What? That's going to change over time. Why does it look so familiar and I just can't put my finger on it what shoe it is? The, uh, it's the bas the Nike no, basketball shoe. It had the bubbles on the side. I the know, two bubbles I know. on the side. It's it's a uh, uh wait wait, hold on. Grab that box right there actually. I just thought about it because I have a pair it's uh uh the the tan one at the bottom down there. Uh I can't put my finger on it, but uh and it's actually funny because I just picked these up too. I don't know if you guys is saw on my TikTok. This isn't really it though, right? The penny Let me two. See. No, it's not but the penny. It's, it's got a similar it's vibe. It's going there, but it's right? the other one with those yellow. It's this Open color had those pods Open on it. Open this box. Open this box. things on there. I can't put my finger on it, but it's it's something. And I'm almost thinking it's like similar to this shoe. Similar to similar this to shoe. These, right? But the other one got two. Right. And it's I'm, got two. And I'm like, I'm tripping right now. But I'm also thinking like, is it that shoe? Is what it something is this? else? A little sample, a little something, something. What is this? We'll talk about this later. We'll talk about this later. What is this? <laughs> okay. Anyways. <laughs> But it's that shoe. It's giving, at the end of the day, it's giving me that 1990s. This shoe. Which one? Oh, you're talking about the Flight Posit 3. That's what my. That is what I'm That's thinking. what I'm thinking of. That's a good one, too. Hold on, hold on. Let me show you. Okay. This the shoe was I was thinking of. That is true. Yeah. See, I wasn't, I couldn't figure it out. It's got that Flight Posit 3 vibe. That's what I was looking. See this how it's the, the Allen, shapes? This is the Allen Houston PE. So that's what my mind was thinking yeah. the whole time. That one right there. New York Knicks. Good PE so, right here. It's PE though, but you no. know. It's same shoe, same shoe. Either way. <laughs> okay, so you get what I'm saying? Right, like that right. 90s, 2000, like but it's, it's giving you that vibe. The cuts is clean, everything's clean. I like this. Like I said, that that's a cop. And we know now they can change these flowers and mama stuff on there. Yeah, I'm interested to see what Later. other color was. And they've been getting, Man. I don't know if it's quote unquote creative with the color concepts because mm -hmm. they've been relating it to so many different random things. Yeah. Um, either way, solid shoe. I think I would pass on this colorway in particular, right? But very interested in what's to come what's and to what come? colorways and all those. They could freak this out, yeah. They could freak this out. I like okay. this, especially with those pods, yeah. That lime green just really pop like that. Yeah. Like, I think that's clean. So, I'm excited to see what they do. That, with that that's a good one right there. That one's worth having in a collection, okay? So now, I think this is a women's drop because mm -hmm. 170 bucks typically that's a women's drop, it's a little bit cheaper. And when it, whenever you see that square patch on the side, that's typically a women's drop as well. But either way, the Air Jordan 1 High OG Dusty Clay. Now, this shoe right here, I want to hear what you think because I have I have my thoughts of it. I love the shoe always. You know, I always like the high top, all that. The Jordan 1. For sure. Okay. I'm, I'm always done with it. The colorway, not so much. Okay. It's a hard wear. Like, it's hard to wear this colorway. That's Okay, so this is where I was going with it. There's a shoe, they did a clot, the Jordan clot collaboration. They mm -hmm. did it with like the 14s and the 13s and stuff like that. It's like similar like color blocking, yeah. right? And it reminds me of a clot collaboration. Like this could be a collaboration sneaker. 
It's right? a plot, all right. Right? <laughs> but I really like this shoe, and I think they're going to... We talk about it all the time. They do a great job on the women's releases with the materials yeah. and everything. But And I'm just like, I think that... I, it's just, again, hard. I feel you on that. It's hard to wear. Um, I think this is going to be like a well-respected sneaker, fly under the radar, great addition to the collection. You're glad you had it. It's just don't But I think though. it's going to wait. I think, yeah. I feel like it's going to sit on shelves. People, Some people are going to get it, and then later on they go, dang, I passed up that shoe and I should have got it. Yeah. That's but, how I feel. And it's probably not even going to be available in our size. Right. So, because the materials and everything look, it look good. I think it's nice. I think it's yeah, a nice. Yeah, the materials, shoe. everything looks great. Now this next one, I love these. I'm for sure getting these, but for some reason, I feel like $210 is too much. Damn. So I'm like, let's see if we can catch these on a discount or something. 210. Air Jordan Five Olive. It is clean though. So you didn't like the burgundies as much. No, I like these more. But though. you like the olives. Yeah, I like it. And I'm not, if y'all know, I'm not really that green, you know, kind of person, the okay. browns and stuff. But this right here. Olive green, orange hits. Yeah, I can wear the ducks colors. Oh, oh it's, man. It's, oh, I just got so many memories from like back in the day yeah. when these came out and having them and rocking them and all the different things. The materials, I'm excited. Again, they switched up the cut on the toe because they're giving it that OG vibe. Mm -hmm. But either way, at the end of the day, great shoe. I wish I had my old pair to do the comparison. I might have to go back and get an old pair just because, right. just to do the comparison right. But either way, great shoe. Uh, it's they did just good on this shoe. $210 is my only <sighs> thing. Why, that, I see it at 180, 185. You know what I'm saying? But 210, they they have to be really selective of coming out $200 over these shoes and they'll understand that yeah. you're not the reseller. Right. You're the beginning of the market. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, we're gonna get all that. <laughs> Run that. <laughs> and that little leftover, we're just gonna push that to the outlet. They be having the shoe for retail in the outlet too. They don't even be discounting it. I'm like, y'all disrespectful. <laughs> Cause they know what somebody's gonna right, do. Yeah, somebody's still going, oh, it's an outlet. It's the mm -hmm. same price. <laughs> right. Okay. That is a, a for sure cop for me. And what you say? What you rate him out of 10? I'll give him a nine out of 10. Ooh, that's For, for everything. It, he, it's he a likes good fives. He likes fives. Uh, hey, yeah, for sure. Let me know down below in the comment section. Do you guys like fives? Or six is more. I like six is more. He likes fives more. The fives. Come on. Five team. Sixes. It's all five sixes. team. Okay, here we go. Air Jordan 4. It looked like somebody just peed on the shoe, man. But I'm starting to get a different vibe on it. And no, it's weird because No, I just I don't know. I'm starting to get a different vibe on it. I'm I'm, I'm starting to like it more. Probably because I just picked up those two pairs of fours. Yeah, so. yeah. That's <laughs> I got why. the black ones. In the <laughs> like even if this was a men's release or like, I think some girls, special like PE or whatever. Nah, I would be like, oh. Okay. I think it's a must cop for most girls. No, this is gonna. I was thinking about that too. I was like, women rocking this shoe. This is gonna look icy. They're gonna pull off some yeah. fits with these. Especially if you have a size five, yeah. size six shoe, the nice and small. The little size of proportions, yeah. the colors, yeah. gonna be good with a lot of fits. That size nine and 10 gonna be a struggle. But, but. it's weird though, because like I like also how they embossed the Jumpman on the tongue. And yeah. they still did that 85 cut, or the 88, yeah. 88, 89 cut, geez, um, on the tongue. <laughs> And I don't know what year the cut was, <laughs> <laughs> but they got the embossed. That's right clean. There. Clean. Now look at the material. Who else done that? I haven't seen that. Did anybody else do that? On the other tongue like that? I don't feel. They don't do it that often, though. No. I don't remember seeing that. Normally it has a Jordan four patch. I don't remember seeing a tongue like that. That's like a Jordan three tongue. It's embossed, stamped into it. Okay. Typically you got the square patch. Okay. So it, I think that's might be what it is. The tongue is throwing me off because I'm so used to seeing the square patch. <laughs> like, that tongue is different. It's like a three, but on a four. Yeah. That's why. I think that's probably what it is. Okay, either way, look at the leather. So they put these leathers on the shoes, and sometimes it feels like like squishy, like foam almost. Uh -huh. Like it's like weird material. And like, you almost wonder like, is this leather? What is this? I think in this that's scenario- vegan leather, that's vegan. In this scenario, I'm like, what is the material is gonna be like when we see this in person? So I think, there's a lot of things that just got me real questionable. Now jump man on the back, look at that. It's <sighs> See how it stick out? Is that I don't know, maybe I want the like the colors to blend even more, like the outsole color to not be like that or something. Like I want it to just be like because I think of pure monies. Pure monies is just solid. All white, pure white everywhere yep. with the chrome hit. So when I see that and I think of the outsole and the separation of the colors, it's throwing me off with the back tab. 
I don't know, it's grown on me. It's gonna be one of those shoes in hand, you know, when you get it for the wifey. Yeah. <laughs> she don't really like fours like that. I got her some she fours. Don't. She don't really, she don't really like the fours like that. But I don't know. I don't think it's a terrible shoe. I just. Look at the jump in on the back of the heel though. Yeah. I don't know. That's different too. And honestly, it doesn't even matter because it's probably not even gonna come in my size anyways. So, <laughs> either way, it's a cool shoe. I think a lot of people are gonna like it. Uh, Jordan 4 still got a little bit of hype on them. All right, right yeah. here. So the Awake New York Airships. Remember we saw the red and the blue? You said you're sleeping on those. <laughs> look at the materials on these bad boys. No, the material look fire. This collab for the Airship, honestly, out of all the Airships, might be one of the better ones if you think about it. Think about all the airships that come out for the retros that we've seen, or yeah, retro versions and then like collaboration versions. Right. This might be like in the top three battle of all the different versions. I don't know, I'm just, I, I'm, me and the airships is real hard sales though anyway. I don't know, something about the cut. That is fire right they there They put though. the Awake New York in there? Yeah, that, that, is, Jordan, that is Or fire. airship or whatever it said. But, I think the details, I think the materials, I think the execution. And then there's a red pair and a blue pair. Remember we thought it was like left foot, right, right foot? Right, 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 So there's like two different pairs in the pack. I started looking at these pictures and I'm like. They did, they did give you some extras on the materials. This is kind of cool. Yeah. Now it's weird though because airships. I'm just not finding that bottom being different color like that. Yeah, that, that. age look. It yeah. brings you back to the AJKO from like 2010 or whatever. There was like, they did that and people were like, what is this? This is trash. Like, and then years later it became like, everybody wants that vintage look. Right. And right. now we're slowly reverting back to like, just give me the pure color. I don't want mm -hmm, that vintage mm -hmm. vibe. So it's interesting seeing the shifts in the, uh, you know, buying and what people like on all those things in the culture. But that shoe in general, um, I think, I don't know. I might like, that might be one I add. I might add that to the collection. I'll pass on that shoe. I think it's like, unless I hadn't seen it for like, 125, 150. I feel like, what's the retail? It can't be more than 150. 150 is a retail. Thank you. Cause I'm like, they, if they go up to now, they losing, they, they're no. But that's the thing, all the airships, they're just sitting. They're sitting. Cause it's a hard sale. It's something about the cut on the shoe. It's not a it, one, it's not a Jordan it's, one. It's like a bland it's version. Just, yeah, I it's get just it. hard. I get it. It's not a bad shoe, it's just not like, Greatest shoe of all time. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, and it's almost like if they'd have turned it all the way to a strap, break that part. On the on the top. Yeah, yeah. if they would have turned it all the way to a strap to come across. Yeah. You know, like a kind of that yeah. Michael Vick look yeah. or something. Yeah, I feel that. Okay. Yeah. Well, continuing on with the airships, we have the rust pink colorway. Uh this one. And I actually like that one better. $140. Now this is what threw me off. The green on the tongue. Why they do that? <laughs> Like, bro, what? <laughs> but the shoe combination is better because it don't have so many colors. Yeah, but I'm but like, But then they threw it off the with the... <laughs> Come on, bro. Yeah, they threw that off right there. The green? My only problem, I, that's what it is with airships. My problem is like that, the color's all in the front. Yeah. And, and there's nothing there. in the back. But you like the vandals. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What about that? I'm old school. <laughs> That's old school. <laughs> the vandals you, is hard. But you had that strap hanging down. Yeah, if you had the strap on the back side and you hang it down, you flip mm, it back. Oh, I used to rock mine like that too. <laughs> that strap did it. I don't know if y'all old school used to use hey, the vandals. Hey, whoever the rocked the vandals, let me know down below in the comments. That was the You guys got to flip it backwards ah. and then velcro right back. <laughs> okay, uh, Air Jordan 3. What we got? Green Glow. So they did a Green Glow 4, mm -hmm. and now they're on the Green Glow 3. The Green Glow 4 was like 10 years ago or something like that. It was like right. 12 years ago. I don't know, it's been a long time. Um, different materials, different colors, different scheme on that shoe. It was more like grayish kind of colors. So this is definitely a big switch up. Like if you were compared to two shoes, you'd be like, oh, I could see the similarity, but it's not really like the same type thing. Right, right. Uh, that's kind of where it's at in that field. But what do you think about these? Well, you know me in this color combination. It's black. great. It's a black cement three colorway, and they added yeah. they added the cement print like on the yeah. ice day area in the middle of the foot. Yeah. Which is something they typically do like on the true blue three compared to like the black cements or the white cements. It's just like all gray. Right. So that adds a little bit more texture to the middle of the foot. I think it's it's a shoe to cop. 
It almost looks like a- Cause it's so basic. Looks like a suede, like tongue or like a new book or something. Doesn't that, what was that? Like a suede tongue? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a nice little hint right there. So the whole I think- tongue is suede. I'm interested to see how the leather looks because it kind of looks like the- Even the heel. Yeah, yep. It kind of looks like the Black Cement Force, like the, you know how it's kind of mm -hmm. like got that sheen to it. Um, I'm interested to see how this looks in hand. I think for me, I got a lot of threes in my collection. I think this is a pass unless I get a pair for worn once, a hundred bucks, something, you know what I'm saying? Like right, some right, right. stuff like well, that. Well, I ain't gonna rush out to get them because of the color, but it looks good. It's you a know? good looking shoe. It's a good looking shoe. What did it come out at, 150? No way. Don't say that. Don't say more than that. 200. Damn. So my thing, like if I'm starting out my collection, I'm like, yo, I can picture You're not going to spend like, $200 on that. I'll, to start your I'll be looking for a deal. I'll be looking for a deal. But I'm like, this will be a <laughs> shoe that I will add to my collection. Oh, yeah. I like, can see that. You could, Because realistically, like the green is so subtle. You can wear this with everything. And it could it possibly everything. go up later. Jordan 3s have a tendency of doing that. So what happens is, even if it's the worst colorway ever, da, 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 like, give it time. It's going up. Yeah. I could name probably like five of the worst colorways and we could go look them up and you'd be like, damn, 325, <laughs> what? Like, these came out at 160, nobody right. wanted them. They went to outlets, up. Da, 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 yeah. like all that. So I think in that case, they take a little bit more time. There's not a little bit of hype around it, but it's a Jordan 3. It's classic, it's similar to the black yeah. cement, but we're getting the black cement this and year. And there'd be some people just confusing it for black cement. Right. They'll just be like thinking, that's what they got. Yeah. <laughs> no, they, don't, they don't know. So yeah, either way, uh, good looking shoe. Yeah. I think I think definitely worth the cop. 200 though. Next up, the Flint Gray. This was supposed to come out before, wasn't it? I think so. I think we talked about these. We before. talked about that shoe before and they, they held off on it. Air Jordan 14. I still like this shoe. It's a pass though. I'm not gonna rush out and get it, but yeah, if I could get it at outlets for a buck 50, I'd get it. You know what yeah. it is? Because remember those duck shoes like that? What's this duck right, shoe? Right, right, right. We know? said it was like a knockoff of the duck PE. Yeah. yeah, I get that. I get that. Yeah, and I think that's what they did on purpose so people could get something like that. Yeah. But I don't know. The colorway is cool. I don't know. Easy it, wear. Again, this is like starter pack. You know what I'm saying? I think for this is sure. like great starter pack shoe. Yeah. Great, like for me, where I'm at in life now, I'm like, I do not need to be adding. You got an extra pair back there already. Right, like I'm like, bro, this is, I cannot buy all these shoes. Like this is just too many releases. No, you're in a different position. You have to be very selective yes. on what you buy. Yes. There's and other people, like you said, starting out, it'd be a good for the collection. And that's what people like get misunderstood. Like when we make these videos, because I'm like, nope, not doing it, no. Nope. And they're like, that's great. And I'm like, yes, it's a great shoe, but like, I'm not doing it. And again, <laughs> buy what you like. Like, I like it too, but again, right. I'm, I gotta make a decision to say, I'm not gonna buy it, even though I like it. You gotta it. make this decision over three pairs of Jordan 1s than one pair of these. <laughs> Man. Okay, the next one Speaking right of here. Jordan 1s. Right. This one is- I, I thought this was supposed to come out. I think it's actually coming out this month now. The Trophy Room Air Jordan 1s. We went over this before, we'll make it quick. Either way, it's a cop. This is a cop. <laughs> hey, they did the business on this shoe right here. This is a cop for sure. We saw the shoe in hand. This is not part of a starter pack. This will be the pack. <laughs> <laughs> this would be We it. saw the shoe in hand. It's a great looking shoe. Great looking shoe. I'm very shoe. interested too because he doesn't have, I don't think he has any, any low, trophy rooms. low tops. Oh. You don't have any trophy rooms and you don't have any low top ones. You only have high top ones. I got. You got some dunks. Oh, no, no. I got some low top. What? Oh, you might. Them diamond ones. What I got? I don't know. Hey, pretty soon we're gonna be doing my collection. Yeah, here collection again. video we, coming soon. We haven't done it yet in a while. Y'all see me get a couple pairs of yeah, shoes here recently. Yeah, big update. Yeah, his collection has changed a lot since but, uh, we did the last video. Yeah. <sighs> We're starting to re forget what we did for me and I get it. Like when I got him the Aqua 8s again. <laughs> I'm like, what the? I, was like, I think I got these already. <laughs> okay. On to the airships yet again. This is the month of the airships. But okay. Greenstone. Materials is there. Colorways there. Easy to wear. All the different things. Checks a lot of boxes. I think it's a great shoe. But just don't pay retail, get it for a discount. I like this one better. Let it go on sale. This is definitely gonna go on sale. 
but I, the materials look fire. The, the whole shoe, this one is, for me, is one of the better of the airships because they didn't do all that color in the front, the weird yeah, yeah, and everything yeah. like that. It's more evenly spaced on there. You know so this color blocking in particular is the color blocking that you would prefer for sure without the front half having the toe yep. doing yep. that yep. so again like the og yeah classic like yeah. i think the other one's og color blocking too but i know this one in particular i'm is real simple when they put that in the front they trying to be like a jordan and they right. they messed that up look like the black toes but it's not yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like missing something yeah. in the back blew that okay well, that, that that uh materials are good here we go one of the bangers of the month highly anticipated Oh my gosh, I cannot I wait. would never buy a pair of these. You are tripping. I'd buy two. I'm like, <laughs> powder blue Air Jordan 9. I would get one pair, I'd get two. I was just about to say, remember this picture right here with him rocking the UNC I, like, I had that outfit too, remember? Yeah. I think you had it too. I still got my shorts. I got the white and the blue one still. Uh, this is uh, a color Yeah, wave. so these are just nice. Simply They're marvelous. So nice. They can't go wrong with this shoe right here. Oh yeah. This right here can come out and it's gonna go up. I don't think this shoe's gonna sit on shelves long. I think. I don't. Th if people know, like this shoe's comfortable to hoop in. I used to hoop in this. It's comfortable to hoop in and it's comfortable to wear. I think this shoe will be sitting on shelves for a what? De decent amount of time in select cities. In select cities. I think certain cities will sell out faster than others. Yeah. But I think it's going to be one of those, like, you pull up and you're like, damn, they still got these? Like, I think it's going to be select city type thing. Some of the shoes, it's like, these are going to be available everywhere for a long time. I don't think this is one. It's kind of like one of those patches of hula. But you don't you know think if you bought two pair and then wait one to go up, you sell the one pair to make yours free? For sure. But it takes time. Yeah. You got you to gotta really season that one because... The way the market is right now, the way all this stuff is going, the price of it already, right? $210, $200, you need this shoe to go up to $400. That's gonna take a little while. You know what I'm saying? So you got like a three year window. You know what I'm saying? Like, we might be able to get an extra 100 out of it <laughs> later, so I don't know, we might have to squeeze a little bit. Get the laces for free. Hey, buy what you like, <laughs> buy two pair and wear them both. <laughs> nah, but I think, uh, like I tell everybody, you can't go wrong with a classic, you can't go wrong with an OG. This is one of those scenarios where, Man. It's it's hard for it to lose its value or to not be worth nothing. It's it's just a good shoe. Yeah. This shoe's it's this shoe's comfortable, but if you got a wide foot, I'm gonna say don't yeah. get this shoe. It does stretch, but I think the narrow foots is a win on these shoes. Yeah, it's like oh man, this is good. I, so I had the retro and that was like two thousand 10 or 11 or something mm -hmm. like that when they retroed. Mm -hmm. I don't remember, one of them years. And I had those for a while. I wore them, got another pair, had a dead stock pair. And then, you know, like when I sold the stuff to get the houses, I was like, gotta let these go. Right. I was like, they'll retro someday. And it's been forever. Yeah, I see, I'm so ready. Like, I'm just so ready for this shoe to come out again. Yeah. In the Olive Nines. Oh man, I got rid of those too. Now they're coming back out again. Super happy about that one too. But we're gonna be trying to buy another house here pretty soon. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I know are. I got a meeting <laughs> with the <laughs> lender tomorrow <laughs> all right so next up right here we have the ivory craft OG and this one is like the series we've seen the threes the fours the fives different stuff like that right they give us premium materials they switch up the cuts do a little bit of different stuff this one you see they added the patch on the side yeah what do you think about it I think the colorway is smooth I look like the materials is good only thing is, I'm worried about getting that back dirty. I was just thinking, it's a shoe that's just asking to get dirty. Like, and yeah. just no going back. <laughs> like, the way the outsole is set up, the back tap, the back heel area, like, it's You're just asking like, for it. dirty me up. Yeah, like, yeah you oh got my. one good wear, and it better be on all carpet. So, nah, because the carpet be fraying up onto the back of the shoe. You know how that go. So, yeah. Either way, it's a pass for me, like, yeah, I'm, I wouldn't cop that shoe. I'm cool off of that one. I wouldn't cop that shoe. Hundred and eighty bucks. I probably bucks? wouldn't even give that shoe to nobody. Hundred and eighty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> this one is terrible. Oh my! The Jordan Stadium ninety Let's sunshine. Go so I think this might go with the. No, nah, this has nothing to do with those other. This ones. goes with the garbage. Yeah, <laughs> that, 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 that's definitely what it goes. This with. is where it's at. 
What is this on the tongue? The twenty. They're gonna get the shipment in at Foot Locker and just put it right in the dumpster. Just in the right back in the, the wall. dumpster. If this don't come out for eighty bucks or less, these should be. A, don't bet. I say one ten or one twenty. One hundred and forty. Oh, they blew that. If anybody cop these for one forty, please take a picture and show us that you wasted your money. <laughs> <laughs> 140 no, is crazy. No, 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 no. You didn't waste your money. You bought what you like. What don't. was they doing? Nothing. I don't know what? what. I don't even know. That's like worse than a team shoe. Yeah. <laughs> it's like these. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Air Jordan 3 floral. I think this is the last one. $160. Don't do this to your kid. This is madness. Don't I think, this. all right. So if I'm buying a pair of shoes for a kid like that and I'm like, I'm trying to find a way to spend that 160 on two pair of shoes. Or like a pair of shoes and a whole outfit. <laughs> I just don't see where they was going with the shoe. Okay, all right, let's let's break it down. Let's break it down quick. Midsole, two-tone, decent, matches with the front half. The strings the matches the other part. Honestly, it's not bad. I don't know, it's a struggle for me. I I, I think they got too many things going for it. That's all. But I, I noticed too, like- Was that like trees or something on the back the heel? kids shoes, again, like you gotta think, this is made for somebody who's eight years old, 12 years old, you know what I'm saying? They Younger. like color, they like the whole thing. A very- uh, I wouldn't have bought these for you when you was eight years old. <laughs> <laughs> well, you was just giving me all the OGs. <laughs> What did it there? But but you think like all the uh I don't know if you what do you want to call it activity in the shoe like there's so much going on right like I think a kid might like in it. this era of sneaker designs and where things are at even when you look at other brands that are competing that are creating shoes for kids or young young adults yeah. or whatever you see a lot of like design elements. The material is cool on it though. The material is cool. I mean, but. I don't know that that whole thing that they got. Uh, uh, what is that print on the heel? It looks like cherry blossoms on the back, but I can't tell. Oh no, maybe it's not. Look at that right there. Yeah, that's it's just floral, it's just different patterns of flowers, I guess. Really, <sighs> I don't think it's a bad shoe. I don't think it's a great shoe. It's just like one of those. Maybe like, what if they change the laces? It's one of them shoes that you just walk past when you see it on the shelf, and you just not even paying no attention to. You know what I'm saying? Like you mm -hmm. go to the mall, and you're like. Well, that's there. Okay, you're not even looking at it. But 160 for your kid. But 160 is crazy. Adult shoes is up there. 160 is crazy. So okay, yeah. let's run this recap back real quick. Let's pick out at least three to five shoes that we like from the month, starting from the top. I think you said you want the Smith Hikes. Oh yeah, I thought you was gonna say them low top. Yeah, I'm not even working with the mules. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Smith Hikes for him. Uh, Navy one low, metallic low for me. We're interested in the Tatums, but it's not a cop. Uh, the Dusty Clay, I think oh. it's a solid shoe, but it's not a cop. Uh, we got all of five. The all of five is definitely a cop. The Sale Women's Four. He's leaning for, towards like A little them. bit more for the women, yes. I'm still on the fence. Airships, New York. No. I think they're clean. And then Green Glow, we think it's worth it, but not for us right. or for you. No, 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 I wouldn't cop them. Okay, okay. But it, it is, it's a better shoe. Okay. Gray 14s. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We didn't get this one. Which one? That's the same one we just talked about. Oh, no, 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 no. The green glow? Yeah. It's a cop. It's 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 right there. It's right there. I'm going to say, I'm going to go back on it and say, it's a cop. Okay. All right. It's a cop. Yeah. Uh, You like the Flint 13? The yes. Flint 14s, I yeah. mean? Yeah. Okay. Trevor Room, 100% for both of us. For sure, 100%. Uh, UNC OG 9, Powder Blue 9s, I mean. 100%. Boom, everything else, straight to the dumpster. Right. <laughs> All right. I think that's gonna wanna, do it. I wanna tell you one more time. <laughs> <laughs> what shoe? This, guard, this uh, mule shoe. <laughs> <laughs> do not try that at home. Don't even put it by the front door. Don't so even somebody try it at the store. <laughs> <laughs> I would hate to go in somebody's house and they have those like, oh, I just use these in the house. So like, hey. no, just buy some slippers, <laughs> dog. Spend your money wiser. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, back. it's all fun and games. Don't get too hurt in the comment section. Just buy what you like at the end of the buy day. Buy what you like is we're not our money. We're just stating what we like and what we don't like. That's what we're here for. That's what's important. <laughs> if you got the mules off, they probably gonna be leaning. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> All right, we gotta go. All right. All right, make sure you guys subscribe to his channel. Get him to 10,000 subscribers. Follow him on Instagram. Make sure you guys subscribe to me. I'll see you guys in another one. We are out. <laughs> you don't even have to choose like. <laughs> I would never let you down. Yo, if you made it to the end of this video and want to take your collection to the next level, I built a full community with private meetups with me and other members in the community as well. So if you want to be a part of that and get early access or behind the scene looks on how I run my businesses, this is definitely going to be a place where I can help you scale your collection and potentially start investing in other things outside of sneakers like real estate. So hit the link down below in the description and get signed up and I'll see you guys on the inside. Hey, Pop, hey, Pop. The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I would never let you down. It's in my my DNA, the only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I was made for it, it's in the 